Hello, this is Jack Elias. I am the Dean of Medicine and Biology. I'm also Senior Vice President for Health Affairs. One thing that became very clear to me when I got here was the tremendous focus on teaching and the tremendous focus on students. I was coming at the beginning of the formulation of what is now building on distinction, which is the strategic plan for Brown University. We had to reinvent the medical school and decide where we wanted to go and what we wanted to be going forward. And we decided that Brown University and the Warren Alpert Medical School needed to be a place that asked and answered questions to not only study basic sciences, but we needed to go one step further. We needed to have disease-focused research if we wanted to go to the next level as a program in biology and as a medical school. We need to consider it our obligation to take science and move it as far as we can to help people. The Warren Alpert Medical School is very committed to equity, diversity, and inclusion. We have worked very, very hard to improve the diversity in our medical school and our PhD training programs which are now among the most diverse in the nation. I want Brown to be a place that is tremendously humanistic and tremendously patient-focused, a place where we ask and answer questions and develop new therapies for disease, new biomarkers for disease, and we come up with new understandings about disease. One of the features of research-intense medical schools is frequently a robust MD-PhD program. That program has blossomed over the last few years, thanks to the largesse of the Warren Alpert Foundation, who is very excited about us becoming a place that trains MD-PhD trainees. We, for the first time, became a top 10 program in US News and World Report in medical student selectivity. We have had superb matches with high, high percentage of our students getting one of their top choices going to U.S. News and World Report top 10 academic medical centers. We've also developed the Brown Institute for Translational Sciences, which we call BITS. And this is a way of developing programs in areas that we think we can particularly make big movements on and make big discoveries in. The research portfolio has increased 109% since 2013. That makes us one of the fastest growing research medical schools in the United States. The first program we have built is the Hassenfeld Child Health Innovation Institute, which right now is focusing on childhood obesity, childhood asthma, and autism, and has been remarkably successful. We also have a program in vaccine biology and global health, which already has two candidates for a malaria vaccine. We have a tremendous program in the biology of aging, uh, which is looking at aging as a treatable process. We now have a program in the Center for Translational Neuroscience that's focused on Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases. And we now have a program in cancer biology in collaboration with Lifespan, which is a wonderful program that has brought us some of our most gifted faculty here. New programs will be formed in the near future, one of which is going to be on digital medicine. We've set up a funding program for our faculty who have exciting intellectual property. That is called BBII, which stands for Brown Biomedical Innovations to Impact. This is a fund that is designed to help investigators to move from the laboratory into the entrepreneurial space to ultimately develop a product that can be given to patients and help them in a variety of ways. Brown is the most collaborative place I've ever been at in my career. And it's a place where people are truly committed to doing the right thing and now truly committed to tackling diseases and helping patients. We are excited about where we have come from. We're very thrilled to be where we are, but we think we've only scratched the surface. We are looking forward to 
continued growth in the years that come, and we are looking forward to a very joyous ride. We would like to invite you to join us on this ride and share this great experience.